Vice President, I want to wish to America, she is, as George Washington himself said, friend of my country in my country's most friendless day. That says it right there. In that spirit, I would like to offer a toast. To what our forefathers have started and our children will continue, may the light always shine upon them. Slancha. As we stand together with our Irish friends, I'm reminded of that proverb, and this is a good one. This is one I like. I've heard it for many, many years, and I love it. Always remember to forget the friends that proved untrue, but never forget to remember those that have stuck by you. We know that, politically speaking. A lot of us know that. We know it well. It's a great phrase. They say the Irish have the capacity to change everything. I just saw the President of the United States read from his script entirely. <laughs> it's fair to say, as you know, Mr. President, we've got 700 Irish firms, 65% uh, uh, of the 700 f firms working in America have a full-time presence in this market, and they now employ 100,000 people across 50 states. And that's because of our, uh, our participation in the European Union and the confidence that our people have to expand now beyond their own shores. And this two-way two uh, conduit is to the mutual benefit of our people and of the United States. And let me say, that Ireland and the European Union will never be anything but a friend to your country, to these United States here.